I will do hammer time first. We will do one hammer time. You guys choose. Hero pick. Hero pick. Um, I don't really feel like going through it. Uh, oh my gosh, there's a lot of hero time. Trilby. Bot review. Stylosa. We'll do one, maybe two, but I don't know if I have time for two. Uh, communication in Overwatch. I don't have time for this, sadly. And I don't know if I have time for this either. What do you guys think? Stylosa. Hero pick. Hero pick. All right, we'll do hero pick, and if we have time, we'll do Stylosa. But I don't know. It depends on how long this spot is. 35 minutes. Ugh. Probably not going to do Stylosa then. Okay, here's a question. X hero pick isn't a problem. It's your mindset. Okay? Got my eye. What do we got here? Hey, up, top 500 main tank and coach here. I would like to preface this by saying that I'm a firm believer that any hero in any comp can work if played properly. Um... If I have a one trick sim player on our team, ask them to switch the last thing I do. Yes, it's not ideal, but they play the hero well enough to be at least of this reason, give it a chance to prove themselves. So, so sure. This is good. Like, I think I would have liked a little bit of a clarification that, you know, you're not talking about pro play or even, like, because sometimes in, like, top 500 and, like, contenders or organized gameplay, like, staying a hero is an int, but in ranked, sure. You could make just about any hero work. <sighs> Especially for the vast majority of your audience who's going to be platinum below. For the longest time, I've been hearing a lot about how you're not a counter hero. So this survival strategy winning game short term instead of teaching you to resolve issues long term. For example, as an honor, rather than switching to more, to avoid doing this, learn how to listen and react. Keep an eye on your own back. Be ready to sleep if he decides to engage you. Great. This teaches you how to solve the problem rather than simply choosing your way through. It's tough situations like these that are going to teach you how to, or scenarios, how to pressure by winning that improve. This doesn't apply to your personal picks, but picks of the entire team. But for those of you on a team, I would listen up. Switching the comp because it isn't working doesn't fix any of the problems that are keeping you from getting to the next level. I would say, I would say it doesn't always fix the problems. I definitely agree with you that you didn't swap, but like, don't lie to yourself on saying swapping comps doesn't work. Like going from Ana to Moira is gonna win you games. <laughs> it's gonna win you games, but he is right that it's not exactly solving the problem. It's just gonna tease you some wins. Um, more times than not, there's some critical error in the playstyle of your team that's causing the comps to fail. Some comps are more explored than others. To me, you shouldn't blame the loss. Uh, adapt and blame it. I'm gonna post this up so many of you have to ask me to clarify my post. I know I think that one tricking is a good idea. Okay, good. Here's what I mean. Everyone plays competitive for different reasons. Some people want to just try hard to win and don't care about the rank. I just want to prove. What I'm saying is that the painful thing is that switching heroes should be shouldn't be your go-to reaction, right? If you seriously can't bring out a win against X hero, then nothing to do around switching. You have nothing to be able to help us dying over again. What I don't want is for you to have one fight win. X hero lose and MC swap to counter. That's not teaching you anything but to choose your way through the situation. I'm gonna give that a beefed. Because I don't necessarily agree with all of it, but I think for the most part it's a message that a lot of folks need to be hearing. Wait, did it cancel it? Okay. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so this is a good message. Like, this is a message that a lot of folks need to hear. It's not 100% correct, but it's close enough, and, like, he's considering his audience with this delivery. Okay. Um, why do teams switch their compositions in? Because it's easier and better than trying to drive soup with the fork. Drink soup with the fork. Yeah. Switching the comp can turn the game around. I mean, this is more psych like in some circumstances, then yeah, it could definitely turn the game run. But a lot of times swapping the comp is psychological. Like, oh, this will be easy now because I went X hero and then you play with more confidence and you're less tilted and then you just swim. A lot of this is psychological. But I mean, I do agree that switching comp can turn the game around. But again, the question, is it worth it if you're trying to improve or you're trying to win? Why the poets teach people how to improve long term? Think about more than just the game that they're playing at the moment. If you're playing a game at the GM rank and happy with that, flex that you want to. If you're planning on looking to improve, so you break every time a flex starts to give you trouble, whatever you have to deal with the situation properly. Yeah, see, this is downvoted because, you know, Overwatch University, but he's right. I mean, this right here is why Overwatch University is kind of a joke because it's plat, it's patting each other in the back. But, I mean, this is a very good post. So I'm going to upvote it because he's right. Hmm. Swapping is a core value part of the game. I mean, kind of. A low effort value, yeah. Yeah. So this is a ballsy post. I would not have posted this because you're 
have to understand your audience is going to need this, but they don't really want to hear it, and people will misunderstand it the high heaven. So I feel for Overwatch School. He's dealing with morons, and yeah. Okay, decent, decent post.